Hello and welcome back, it's Debbie from Sarrow B and here is your daily reading for the 27th of September. We'll give the cards a shuffle and let's get on with it. First card out today is the Nine of Swords. Okay, somebody is in deep turmoil, deep thought, there's pain, perhaps an illness. With the five of wands in the past and the queen of wands in the future tense. So what we've got in the recent past here is conflict, tension. Arguments, people not getting along, and it's leading us to feel in complete turmoil at this time. And moving on, we have the Queen of Wands. We may need to be embodying the Queen of Wands in our future energy, standing confident, proud, very intelligent. You know, the Queen of Wands is that person we can rely on, loyal, a lot of loyalty. It may be that we need to uh, ask this kind of person for help. Move along, Ariel. Okay, what more can we find out about this situation? That wanted to come out, didn't it? Temperance. Justice and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a blip with the technology. The camera went off. So everything is filming okay now. So we have Temperance, Justice, and the Seven of Swords upright. So what we're seeing here is a um, blessing healing healing card. Somebody refilling the cups, somebody taking time out, somebody meditating, someone perhaps um, taking, I see someone taking classes, okay, developing their spirituality. I see somebody healing after a period of hurt and turmoil. The Justice card is all about regaining balance in the situation. Okay, it could be that we're seeking justice. It could be that we are seeking justice in a situation. Okay, seeking legal help. I do see perhaps see somebody seeking help of a counsellor here from these cards. Okay. We do have the energy of some, but something's getting away from us. Something's getting away from us. Somebody's getting away with something. Okay, we feel like we have been misled. Dis uh, there's been some deceit, lies. Okay. But we're finding our balance. We are definitely rega regaining balance after this difficult time. More messages. Ooh, we have the nine of wands, which wanted to come out there. And we have strength in reverse. And we have the page of cups. Okay. Be careful that somebody doesn't try and manipulate you. Okay. Somebody, I see someone coming in with an apology. But I think we need to maintain our strength. Have, take, um, 
what we can from this spirit of the Queen of Wands. You know, we need to be on our on guard, very much on guard with what's going on here with this person, I see. You know, at this time we may feel that we have we haven't got the strength to carry on. We feel weak, you know. I saw this here with this card. You know, it's starting to affect health. We feel unsupported. There's been a real something very cruel's happened, and I feel like there's a very a cruel, abusive person around. Be careful we don't let this person back in because here I do see this energy of somebody coming in with some form of an apology. But I feel like it's a false apology. With this nine of wands, what we're seeing is a recovery. So what I feel this is saying is don't go backwards. Once you've done this self, you know, this self-help, this healing, once you've regained balance, don't let somebody come back. Don't let the snake back in through the door. Hold your guard. Stay firm. You know, you are a powerful force. You, have, you do embody the spirit of the Queen of Wands. You're respected. Okay, and and we're seeing that. We're nearly seeing it come full circle with the nine. There's a lot of self-discipline, working on yourself. You just need to find that strength to keep going. We may not be fully prepared for any more emotional pain right now. We're not ready. There's a certain insecurity, emotional insecurity. The pain and suffering is still there under the surface. We're not ready. We're not ready. We don't trust. Um, and I, I really feel when I see the seven of swords are here in the mix that we should be on guard. Well, let's come out as well. The Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Moon. Okay. So we're embodying as well this spirit of the Nine of Pentacles, who is financially secure, independent, you know, mature. They've been through ordeals to get to this place where they are, they've worked hard. And now they, they are enjoying what they have. They're reaping rewards from the hard work that they've put in, the hard work and effort. And this is all down to themselves. No help from anybody. But I feel like this, whoever this reading is meant for today, you are completely in love with this per other person. You feel like you can't do it on your own. You feel like you need this person supporting you. You're deeply, deeply in love with this person. But there's deception with this person. I see it again with the moon. There's lies. It's not reliable. There's falsehoods. Listen to your intuition. Intuition is strong right now. Listen to it. Listen to your gut feeling. It could be that secrets are going to start coming out, and that's what this re the, the the excuse me the the rebalance is. You know, I see that. I see a renewal, and it could be that secrets are coming out about an untrustworthy person. But there is illusion around. There's so much emotions playing out here in this situation with this, in this relationship. So 
someone is really emotionally feeling burnt out emotionally. You know, the King of Cups is somebody who's easily hurt. Who got to any lengths. This is a person who got to any lengths for love. Who'll just keep trying and trying again. They want to offer that emotional warmth. And I see someone here is torn between that, the torn between being on the road, getting their independence back, but then also kind of being reliant on this, um, somebody else for emotional support. When you should be looking elsewhere to seek that help right now. Temperance is all about trying to find some resolution. Cooperation, having patience. It's harmony, blessings. But what we have here is somebody who is going to try and break, break you down. You need to defend yourself. You need to make sure that you don't let anybody in who's untrustworthy. You don't lose your guard. That you don't become weakened by somebody. This person, when they come in offering above and beyond things. And the final message from this book. Another card of illusions, the seven of cups of mystery the snake the snake coming out of the cup here is what I'm being drawn to Remember, you have options, choices. There's a lot of options in love. You're a very strong person, a very loving, loyal, caring friend, financially stable. Don't be misled. Don't, be, don't let somebody draw you into their fantasy world. Let your intuition guide you. Be guided with your intuition right now. Don't indulge in someone else's fantasy. Don't become confused about which path to take. Listen to your own gut feelings about whether or not this is right for you. Manifest in something else. There's potential, there's opportunities that are coming in, that you can bring in, but you need to maintain your strength. You need to keep your guard up. I'm going to draw from this deck, which I'm enjoying using at the moment, despite being so huge, I can hardly shuffle it. Let's go for it. That's what we got. We have the Eight of Cups. The Four of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. So, the Eight of Cups is all about, I see it as a card of that manifestation, going to find your dream, putting all your energy into, into reaching that goal, reaching that end point, 
you know what you want, you want to turn your back on this hurt, this pain. This your, your period of resting, the four of swords here, that period of rest, recovery, recouping is done. You've, you've sought the help that you need and you're now stronger. But it's just about maintaining that. Because what you're heading towards is the wheel of fortune. Lucky times are coming. You know, you're going to be gaining strength from friends. I say travel. Peace, fulfillment. You know, you're going to be walking into a fated relationship. Something better's coming. Something better is on the horizon. Something fun. Something beautiful. You know, this is destiny. You're in control. That I saw that here with the, with the Queen of Wands. You're in control now. You know, you're ready for this change. You, this is what you want. And destiny's at work to pull in something better, a new relationship, a change for the better. We're going to end with a card from the universe here. And this reads, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Okay, here we see the wise owl depicted. The owl has her eyes closed. He's resting. You will do whatever it takes because you're strong, you have that strength. We're blocking out what doesn't serve us anymore. Keeping away that anxiety, that feeling of tr being trapped. We're breaking free from that. Thank you for watching today and take care.